New tonight, first responders go through rigorous training to do their jobs and their canine officers are no exception. Today they took to the water to train along the Buffalo Outer Harbor. Channel 2's Leanne Stuck has the story. Uh, this is canine Lysha. She's the Erie County Sheriff's only cadaver dog. Uh, she's four years old. She's half German Shepherd and half Belgian Malinois. Lysha is a valuable member of the Sheriff's Office. She has a very special skill set. Well, basically, she just detects the smell of human decomposition. Um, so in, and we train them in all different environments, like fires, um, like rocks, like a buried. She's had a busy spring assisting the Buffalo Fire Department. Today, she joined other canines from search and rescue teams throughout the area for human remains detection water training. Typically, when a body is in the water, uh, when the decay process begins, uh, gas forms in the body and that rises to the surface and dogs have this incredible sensitivity to, to that kind of smell. So the, the dog will sit on the edge of the boat, put her nose as close to the water as possible. As soon as she gets close, as close as she can to the source, she will indicate, and that will give people an idea of exactly where the, the um, possible drowned victim may be. First responders say the dog will sit, bark, or snap their head if they catch a scent to alert a rescue crew. The training was hosted by Alert Region 1 which is a conglomeration of more than 60 rescue teams throughout western New York and southern Ontario. Crews say this training is important for the dogs. Some of our boat operators have never worked with the dogs before, so and some of the dogs have never really been on some of these boats, the bigger boats, so it's kind of a familiarization. Just like officers, these canines go through rigorous training and must be certified. You're probably looking at about a week or two of, of pure boat work for the dog to be boat certified. But it is the dog's drive that's just as important as the training. And the canines went through three different scenarios for the water rescue training because their handlers say they must be prepared for anything. After the training, first responders said the exercises were a success for the canines. Leanne Stuck, Channel 2 News.